Hi, I'm Joseph. In this video, I'm going to talk about my obstacle avoider robot. First, let's have a demo. Now, let's take a closer look at the robot. The robot is driven by two motors over here. And the motors are driven by this L29810 H-Bridge motor driver board. The motor driver receives signal from the Arduino, which is fixed over here. And I have the ultrasonic sensor connected to the Arduino. The ultrasonic sensor is mounted on a server motor which can turn 90 degrees left and 90 degrees right from the center. When it detects an obstacle in the front, the Arduino will stop the robot. Then the Arduino will turn the server motor to the right, will take the distance reading, turn to the left again and it will take the distance reading again. Arduino then compares both distances. If there is no obstacle in the right, it will go right. And if there is no obstacle in the left, it will go left. Now, let's see how it works. I am using a 12 volt lead acid battery to power the whole robot. The Arduino is powered by a voltage regulator over here. The lead acid battery is also connected to the motor driver which drives the motors. Now let's have a look at the code. I am using the servo.h library to control the servo motors. The servo Turn values are declared over here. These are the values to turn the server straight, right and left. The server pin is declared over here. The pins for the motor driver is also declared. And these are the PWM pins of the motor driver. I have also declared the motor speed, the motor PWM speed for all for all the motors. These are the necessary pins and variables for the ultrasonic distance sensor. In the setup section, the servo is attached. Then the servo is positioned straight. The pin modes of different pins are also set here. In the loop section, the calc distance function is, cal is used to calculate the distance to the obstacle in front. If it's greater than 15, turn both the motors forward. Else, stop both motors and go and reverse both motors for 500 milliseconds then stop again next turn the ultrasonic sensor to the left and keep the then read the distance and keep the distance in this variable called l dist again turn the server to the right 
calculate the distance and store it in the variable called rdist and now turn position the server forward this while loop is to handle a condition where the robot gets into a pocket in that condition it can't move forward can't turn left or right in the loop first move back for 1 seconds and stop then check again if you are still in the pocket move back again repeat this until the robot gets out of the pocket if the distance to the right is greater than or equal to the distance to the left turn right for 500 milliseconds or if the uh, distance to the left is greater than the distance to the right turn left for 500 milliseconds in the server function it has one parameter it's a position for the server to turn it will first turn the server and wait for the server to turn the motor function has four parameters this function is used to drive both the motors if this uh, this parameter is set to 1 and if, and this one is 0 it will drive the right motor forward and if this one is 0 and this parameter is 1 it will drive the right motor backward it's the same for the left motor if this parameter is set to 1 and this one is 0 it will turn the left motor forward and if this parameter is set to 0 and this is 1 it will turn the left motor backward the still function stops both the motors the calc distance function calculates the distance from the ultrasonic sensor and returns it 